A lot of high school football left, yeah. right? I mean, at least on. a few few games anyway. Look at this sunrise. It's gorgeous. Wow. It's gorgeous here in Summerton this morning. We'll see a lot of sunshine today. Soak it up. We're not going to see a lot of it tomorrow and into at least Wednesday morning. By Wednesday afternoon, it's back as the big front comes in. But uh, gorgeous weather for you in Summerton. A little chilly. More cloud cover here from our BJCC camera downtown. We're at 44 degrees right now. It's definitely a cold morning for us here around the state. Anywhere from 37 Anderson to Asheville and Jasper now 30. Nine Talladega back to Gadsden fade at 38, 42 for you over into Alabaster, Birmingham. The warm spot now with those clouds coming in. High pressure builds in that'll clear everything out, make it for great weather out there for the day today. So some morning clouds, a lot of sunshine as we get to about midday today. Temperatures warming to 57 at 11 a.m. How about 65 here in town? Much of the area in the mid 60s, Anderson, Gadsden 66, Talladega. They're back to Jasper around 66, Tuscaloosa 68 degrees for you. And again, normal highs around 61. So a little bit above normal, even alabaster there into the mid 60s. Now, as we look to our northwest, watching this front coming on in, this is going to be our next weather maker here. As we get to Tuesday morning, to Tuesday night, it's going to work its way farther to the south here, drop a lot of warm, humid air from the Gulf of Mexico out ahead of it. That's going to fuel thunderstorms developing over the Arklamis area during the afternoon hours on Tuesday. Then Tuesday night, that's going to spread its way on into the Alabama area here. It'll be a weaker system when it gets there, but still could provide some rough weather for us here. There's a level four. Four moderate risk out from roughly Monroe, Louisiana to Memphis, Tennessee. And you can see as we get closer to our area, we are looking at a level one to level two. Again, marginal to slight risk out there. And this is to say that we could have a threat for some severe weather overnight. So this is the middle of the night time frame. Best tornado threat looks like it's still going to be off in western Alabama here. It's not a zero threat. So you need to be aware that some of these could happen while you're sleeping. So make sure you have your weather radio on and on standby mode to get those alerts. Your phone may not necessarily go off. So it's good to have. Have a weather radio, greatest tornado threat though in the delta there of Mississippi. So we have issued that weather aware starting at roughly 6 p.m. on Tuesday through 9 a.m. on Wednesday. We will see some heavier rain, could see some damaging winds, and again that tornado threat is possible mainly over the western part of central Alabama. So future cast will show today's weather looking pretty quiet out there, a lot of sunshine heading on into tomorrow morning. We'll see clouds building up as suddenly winds start to return. Still fairly quiet here through much of Tuesday, but then here come those storms over the western part of the state. Nothing severe yet by the afternoon hours here, but we will see some rain coming in Tuesday at 3 o'clock. By dinner time, some stronger storms moving in. By 10 o'clock, here come some of the bigger, more intense storms here over western Louisiana or Alabama. We'll have to keep a close eye on those. They'll continue to move in by 2 a.m. And again, these potentially could produce damaging winds. Can't rely on a tornado or two, so we need to keep a close eye on that, especially over western Alabama. Now, this whole line pushes through by sunrise, and look at that. We're looking at clear skies heading on into Wednesday afternoon with some better weather for us. So we need to be weather aware Tuesday night into Wednesday. It does turn colder on Thursday, warming up the weekend, but we will see a few showers. Kristen?